Hello again everyone and welcome back to this series on how to draw the Beatles. Before we start of course, if you could subscribe that would be great, thank you very much. And also ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well the Beatle today is George Harrison. Now, George is a more angular face than either Paul or John. Um, I'm going to start with the eyes again. A uh, corner here and it goes up fairly sharply. Um, and curves down fairly quickly like that. Again, heavy eyelashes. The bottom part curves more deeply on this side up to this uh, little point here. And he's looking up, so the pupil is in that area there with this bit of white around the, the bottom, okay? The eyelid itself, again, starts about here. And comes up and almost touch, well, it does touch the top of the eye here. Okay, the other eye starts here and again goes up at a, a sharper angle and curves around like that with a bit more weight on the pencil for the eyelashes there. Curving down a bit more at this side and coming up this little point here. And then the actual pupil itself coming in about here. Right, and you can put the highlight just about there, and also there on that one. The eyelid too comes in about here. And there's a bit of a gap in this one, then it continues with a bit more of a gap between the corner and that line there. Now, George's eyebrows are actually a lot lower than either the other two guys and um, they come down about here and they almost touch this line here almost touch the eyelid and again they're quite heavy eyebrows quite thick just showing the shape of them just now they'll slope up like that leave a nice gap there around the muscle at the corner of the eye you get that kind of shape there and this one again coming up like that, quite thick, and right over the corner of the forehead there, and you get that look there, okay? Now his nose is fairly short and straight, coming down from the corners like that, a bit of better shading in there later. Comes down like this, down to the centre of the nose, which is about here. A little bit of shading around the side there. Short nostrils, one there, one coming out there, and then the side of the nose coming in like that. Okay, the indentation in the top of the lip, a bit here, a bit of shading or shadow under there. The uh, mouth, again, quite distinct kind of bow shape, but as I said, it being more angular than the other two guys. And, uh, well, the ones I've drawn so far, anyway, then John and Paul Ringo is coming up next. <laughs> and you get then a fairly full mouth as well. Coming down like that, up, then across, and a fairly full bottom lip. Like that, okay. Now the distance from here to his chin, you can measure like that, because his chin comes about here. And again, it's a fairly square chin, but quite angular jawline coming up like that. Not as broad as Paul's. Coming up like that. Quite angular shapes. Like that, okay. And the uh, hair, of course, almost down touching the eyebrows here. And you can get the height of the hair by taking a, a distance from just above the eyebrows to the chin and doing that. And you find that the top of the hair is about up here. And again, the mop top, <laughs> from a nice big curve like this. And it goes in a bit and it comes around again. Now to cover the ears. Another line coming in here like that. And George is here in this 
early, early, early incarnation, I should say, of uh, the style. It's slightly shorter there. It comes down there, down the sideburns, and up over his ears. The ears are out like this, and they come up when he has lobes, which appear in there. Okay, same with that one. And another ear coming in. Right there, the hair coming in behind. Like that. Okay. And um, in this drawing, he's leaning forward, so you see his collar, shit collar coming in here, and the shoulders are quite high. This one up here is way out there, I think. Yep, that's right. And then jacket collar coming down, like that, with the iconic black velvet part of the collar there. And that coming in there, like that, and then his shirt and tie. Okay, so now I'm going to start working on the actual details, put in a bit of shading. Right, let's start with the eyes. As I said, the eye lashes themselves quite thick, so get a bit of weight in your pencil, get a nice thick line there, a nice head aligned above that for the eye lid itself. And that shading in here, and that comes around there, and a line for the bottom of my lashes coming in there like that, with a bit of shading. As I say, his, all the shapes in George's face is that more angular. Okay, the other pupil, now I don't got it too far this way, so I'm going to take it over here. That's right, that's a bit my right position there. And the highlight will come over to there as well. So that shade there, and you see that's in the right position now. That's a bit better. Uh, and his eyebrow, as I say, comes in quite low down next to his eye. And you can again use these pencil shapes like that to suggest that where the hair is lying on the eyebrow, like that. Short strokes coming around that shape that we drew in earlier. Okay, I'll do exactly the same with this one. I'm going to shade in dark down there and round there, and the eyebrow too. Okay, I'm just finishing off this other eye now. I'm putting a bit of dark shading just in here. Quite a bit of weight on the pencil there to get that nice and dark before we start to put the shading down the side of the nose, which will take up that, that kind of shape there on both sides. I'll put that very lightly just now. Before we move back up, just get the shape of the nose starting there. Okay. Now move up to the hair. Uh, in George's case, the hair is combed across this way, more or less over the whole head, coming down to that, and then this side starts to go the other way. So you get all these lines coming down like that to the forehead there. And then coming round the side and round to the sideburns like that, okay? And in this case, the way the light's falling, the light's catching the top of the head more. So there's more of a highlight area here. So if you draw around the highlight area like that, imagine the hair coming in a curve like that. Coming down. So we're drawing these kind of highlight shapes. And maybe another even down the side here. And then as it comes around this way, another highlight shape here. And also down here and down the side. So these are the parts, the shapes that are catching the light, okay? And the rest is dark. So what I do is start shading in, using my pencil to get the flow of the hair coming in like that, the way it's been combed. But as you come up to this big dark area here, you can start to shade a bit more loosely, like that. You know, fill in those areas a bit more, you know, more sketchy way, right up to the top till we get to these bits. You know, over the top of that, of course, you can use darker lines to, to suggest the hair, but you can quickly put them in like this, these big dark areas. Okay, so I'll work on that catch up with you when I've done it. 
Okay, I mean shading in the hair and also putting a few lines along these lighter bits here just to get the, the way the hair is lying. Okay, right, I can go back to that later on and do a bit more work on it. But let's move down to the nose now. I started to put a bit of shading in around the side of the nose here, maybe a bit more darkness down here just to kind of delineate the top part of the nose here. You see it's fairly straight, it comes down. Uh, this bit of the side of the nose curves in about there. A bit of shadow underneath the nose. As you see, it's quite a simple curve there. And short nostrils. Coming up at an angle there, and then this curve of the side of the nose, another side coming in there like that. And we can bring a little bit of shading down here. Just the line coming from the edge of the nostril there. Now underneath here, um, because of the way the light's catching the top more than anything else, we have the shape of the nose, the tip of the nose being shadowed on the upper lip here. So if you put in that kind of shape there, under the nose, okay, and then just a hint of shading on either side of the mouth here, coming down over the top lip and round the curve of the corner of the mouth there. That's round the corner of the muscle of the corner of the mouth there. Okay, and then down to the mouth itself. So again, that's that angular bow shape. Come up to a point there and then curving out like that, and fairly full upper lip, like that, and then where the lips meet, quite dark, and then slightly left as you go above that to there, okay? And the bottom lip, again, it's quite full, uh, the light is catching the center part here, so we're shading the bottom lip, like that, and underneath the bottom lip, we have a nice bit of shading there as well. Just coming down to where the shape of the chin is, which is about here. You get that almost oval shape of the chin in here, coming down to the square bit at the bottom, with a bit of shading underneath there. Okay, now we need a bit more shading to model this now. We have a muscle under here and under here, so the shading will go around that muscle, almost to join this line here. Can't do that. And again, we can accentuate George's angular face by putting in this shading around this cheekbone here, coming down like that. So you get this bit of shading coming down that side there, down towards this bit of shading which joins in there. Okay. And a bit of shading down this side too. A bit more subtle. You can use a kind of circular motion like that. Coming down to join the other bits of shading there. And then over the ears. Okay. And underneath of course the chin. You get a nice deep shadow. We bring that square shape up like that, and the shadow will take about that shape there, coming around and up that side of the jaw there. So that's nice and deep. Coming in there. Okay, that's coming together quite nicely. And then the, the collar shape. Again, this part is shaded in in a very sketchy way. You don't have to spend too much time on it, but get a nice lively feel just by using cross hatching like that. Okay, and also on the, the collar shape here, again, just use parallel lines, the hatching shape like that. And they come around the ear and then around there. Same thing there. And then just indicate the rest of the collar coming in here. And then very quickly put in your 
shaded lines in for the jacket like that again a nice uh, sketchy quality okay now what we can do now is you got a darker pencil a seven or eight b and we'll see if we can deepen up some of these uh bits of shading okay i have been using this 8b pencil to deepen the dark areas on the hair and so on that we accentuate oh bit of a squeak there <laughs> It's quite waxy, this uh, 8B pencil, so it kind of glides over your other pencil shading. Uh, a bit more detail in here, perhaps, a bit more shading, rather, and some darker shading in here, a wee touch in there as well. well. I think that's great. That gives you that uh, kind of almost slightly sleepy look of George and the uh, angular shape of his face. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you can join me again for another tutorial very soon. <laughs> okay, so in the meantime, all the best, and... Happy drawing!